أعوذ بالله من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In this talk, series of talks on environmental issues and themes through the eyes of Nahj al-Balaqa a series of lectures and sermons that were given to us by Imam Ali alayhi salam our, our beloved Imam the fountainhead head of knowledge and eloquence for us to contemplate and to think about. So today I want to talk, in this part I want to talk about letter number 53. These are instructions given to Malik ibn Harith al-Ashtar al-Nakhay given by Imam Ali salam. So when Imam Ali salam made, appointed Maliki Ashtar as the governor of the Egypt province to replace the governor of Egypt who was at that time Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr because Muhammad ibn Abi Bakr was facing rebellion and resistance fueled and uh, promoted by Muawiyah so these are the detailed instructions Imam Ali salam gives to Maliki Ashtar that you are going to be the governor, the ruler, the administrator of uh, the Egyptian province. And these are the constitutional guidances to you that you should bear in mind when you deal with uh, your people, when you deal with uh, the way in which you govern this province. So in relation to the administration of revenues, in the letter states that you look after the revenue, which is the land tax or haraj affairs in such a way that those who are engaged in farming and various activities on land remain prosperous and they are not driven into poverty because in their prosperity, in the prosperity of the farmers, lies the prosperity of all other people who live on the in the in the in the province in the land in the area so others cannot prosper without the prosperity of the farmers or people who are having various activities on land because all people are dependent on revenue and its payers so Imam Ali is advising Malik Ashtar that look, uh, when you levy taxes on the people who are paying the taxes in relation to land and other things, be very cognizant that you should not affect their prosperity and drive them into poverty. So the latter, in relation to preservation of land, and this is the environmental issue, to preserve and take care of the land states very clearly that keep an eye on the cultivation of land be more focused on cultivating the land and making productive use of the land rather than collection of revenues because revenues cannot be generated without cultivation and whoever asks for revenue without promoting cultivation and helping cultivation will ruin the area and will bring death to the people. If the farmers and the people who are living on the land, they complain that the taxes are very heavy, or if they complain that there is disease and disease of uh, the crops and disease and floods and dirt of water, if there is not enough water and if there is not... Uh, uh, if there is flood, if there is excess of water, or if there is a change in the way land can be utilized because of flood or drought, then you should relieve the tax. You should remit the tax to the extent that you hope will improve the position. So you've got to make a decision to relieve them. You're going to make a decision to make the taxes lighter for them. This remission that will be granted by you for the removal of distress should not be grudged by you, 
So you should not feel, oh, I'm now getting less revenue because I'm giving them this, uh, this incentives or that uh, I'm making reduction, reductions in the taxes. You should uh, instead think that this is an investment and this investment we are making will return to you in the shape of prosperity of your province and progress of your administration. In addition, you will be getting their support and their praise and their, uh, you know, their, their, their being with you and their happiness for you are just with them because you are just to them. You treated them fairly with justice and they will be supporting you. They'll be with you and they'll be able to help you, you know, able to govern, help you in the administration by being with you in all your decisions. And then Imam Ali Ali Salam says, you can depend upon them, strength, due to the investment made in them, because you took care of the, you took, you took account of their convenience, and you can have the confidence in them, because you gave them justice, and you are kind to them. So when circumstances change, and you need their assistance, in bearing more tax burden, if you want to, if you need to increase the tax burden, and you need the support of the people whom you are taxing, the taxpayers, they will then bear it happily in prosperity. They will be very happy to provide more taxes because they are now able to pay more taxes. The ruin of the land is caused by poverty of the cultivators. When the cultivators are poor and are driven in poverty, land is ruined and when this happens and the officers don't take into account this problem of the people who are cultivating and they only concentrate on collection of tax they will ruin the land they will cause all the land to be ruined this is how imam ali alayhi salam is talking about the preservation of land for cultivation for growing which is such an important part of environmental issues in the world with shortage of food in some places and uh, famine and other things that are happening in the world all around because there isn't enough um, help and support being given to the farmers in various difficult times by reduction of taxes or by, gi by giving them other types of support that they need in order to be more productive, in order to grow more and in order to satisfy the demands of the world for food, for food is the demand for every human being and no human being can survive without water or food and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made that something which is their right, their human right. So we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we get guidance from the teachings of uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam and in particular this letter to Maliki Ashtar in which he gives them, gives Maliki Ashtar, the, the governor to be of Egypt, such detailed uh, um, you know, teachings and guidances on how to run and govern. It's like a constitution of constitutional provisions that uh, Imam Ali alayhi salam is giving guidance on to Maliki Ashtar. Ahsant, we bless, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we thank Allah for this opportunity to be discussing the sermon of Imam Ali alayhi salam and to be getting benefit from the various teachings that Imam Ali alayhi salam is giving us. Ahsantum.